Hello, I'm Pastor Luke Torian here at First Mount Zion Baptist Church. Thank you for joining us in our worship service today. It is my sincere prayer that your hearts will be blessed as we worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, is he worthy to be praised? Hallelujah, we serve a great God. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to have one more opportunity Hallelujah. to serve him. Yes. Hallelujah, those who are here, those who are outside of here, those who are streaming, come on, let's stand up and give God some praise because he's worthy. Let him rise. Come on and rise to the occasion. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord let it rise among us. Let the praise. 
rejoice and to be glad in it. Happy Grandparents Day to those of you who are celebrating grandchildren, having grandchildren, having grandchildren. We also take this opportunity to welcome you to this special worship service in which we are celebrating our seniors, celebrating our seniors, our seniors' ministry. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God for what God has done in and through this body of believers. We thank God for how God has kept us. We thank God for how God is keeping us now. And we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that God will continue to keep us, to bless us, to sustain us in accordance to God's will, in accordance to God's will. So again, welcome to worship. God bless you. We pray that you will enjoy this special time in celebrating the seniors of First Mount Zion and the community. God bless you. Please join us in the morning medley.
about you, but I feel all right this morning. Yes. Come on. I'm going to stay on, come on come the on. battlefield. Yes. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to treat everybody right until I die. Aren't you glad about it? Anybody on the battlefield today? Are we grateful to the Lord for how the Lord has kept us? What is in the Lord that we live, that we move, that we have our being? So God deserves the glory. But the fact that we are here, it could have been different. But we're here today, and we give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you again for celebrating seniors with us on today. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. trustee servant Robert Bob Lewis and our responsive reading this morning is victory in temptation please join me and read responsibly using the monitors overhead blessed is the man that endures temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him tempted. I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it brings us forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Therefore, such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted, that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. For in that Christ himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was on point and tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Amen. May our Lord add a blessing to those who hear and do his holy word. In Jesus' name we pray. church. My name is David Jackson. I'm one of your deacons, uh, proudly serving in zone D4 and this entire congregation. Please pray with me. We start by saying good morning, Lord Jesus. Thank you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to start this new day's journey. You didn't have to do it, Lord, but you did it anyway, and we are so grateful for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come to this place or even log into this place at this time to praise and worship you. We thank you, Lord, for all the ministries that make this praise and worship service possible. And we thank you for every ministry of this church that serves your people and the people outside the walls, outside the walls of this church. I thank you for every member of this congregation and our visitors. And I ask you, Lord, to bless us all and our families, Lord, according to your will. 
I ask a special blessing for our pastor and our assistant pastor and their families. These two have been giving the honor to shepherd us, your people, Lord, and they do a fine job. So we ask you to bless them, Lord. Bless them according to your will. We thank you, Lord, for the preached uh, moment that's, that will occur here uh, this morning. We ask you to speak through Pastor Torian. So speak to him, Lord, and open our hearts to be receptive to your word. Again, Father, we ask you to bless all of us according to your will. We remember, Lord, that on this day, September 11, 2001, 21 years ago, terrorists attacked our country, murdering a lot of people. We pray for your ongoing peace and, and comfort for those that lost loved ones in those various attacks, and for those that lost loved ones in the war and conflicts that occurred as a result of those cowardly acts. We thank you, Lord, for the courage and self-sacrifice of those that put their lives in danger in response to it all. We ask you, Lord, we ask you, Lord, uh, and we also remember, Lord, that awful day, and we thank you, Lord, for coming, for bringing us together as a nation in response to the attacks. And I thank you, Lord, for blessing me to be born in this nation and live in this great country. I don't know of another place, another country I could live in where I, where I would have or we would have so many opportunities. So we ask you, Lord, to strengthen relationships throughout our land. Let us all see and understand that the forces that seek to divide us into groups and pit us against one another or represent evil forces that seek to destroy our great nation. So let us all realize and understand that just as with our church theme of we are stronger together, we are also stronger together as a nation, the United States of America. So please bless our nation, Lord. Bless us according to your will. Now, Lord, as we, we ask you to bless this church service and the many, many church services that are occurring around the world, we ask you, Lord, to accept our praise and worship of you. This is our prayer, Lord. This is my prayer, Lord. And I pray it on behalf of your people. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
you want him. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Cynthia. But he's on time. On time. In times of trouble, yeah. Yeah. I know he, he'll be mine. Be oh, mine. mine. In times of trouble, yeah. I know he will be there. Be there.
morning. I am Sherry Stone, and it's time to welcome our guests. If today is your first time visiting, please stand. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Luke E. Torian, and our congregation, welcome to First Mount Zion. We're delighted you chose to worship with us today and pray the service reminds you of God's grace, love, and mercy as you go throughout this week. Our mission is to connect people who have a desire to become fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ. And our theme is We Are Stronger Together from Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. We like to connect with our guests, and we ask that you email the church at fmzbc at firstmountzionbc.org or call the church at 703-670-0184. Please leave your name, number, and mailing address, and someone will contact you. And if you're seeking a church home where you can learn how we're stronger together through worship, study of God's word, stewardship, and service, we'd be honored to have you join First Mount Zion. Thank you, and we hope you come again. Here are today's acknowledgments. Dear Pastor Torian, First Mount Zion leadership and family, thank you for your support, thoughts, and prayers as my family dealt with the passing of our dear grandmother, Ann Wright. Knowing we have the support of this body of believers truly lifted our spirits. May God continue to bless you all. Brother Charles and Deaconess Kimshia, Kimshia Kashima, Tap, and family. When you sow seeds of kindness, you reap a harvest of appreciation. To Pastor Torian and my First Mount Zion family, thank, thank you for your overwhelming kindness shown to me during my recent surgery and recovery. The prayers, meals, cards, flowers, and visits were all appreciated and brought such joy to my heart. May God, continue, may God richly bless you for your generosity. Peace and blessings, Kimberly Johnson. Now as you direct your attention to the monitors above for today's announcements, additional information is available on the church website at www.fmzbc.com. Thank you and have a blessed week. morning. Thank you all so very much for being with us in worship today, this very special day in which we recognize our seniors ministry here at First Mount Zion. So let me, uh, so we say that in order to, I don't want to say qualify, 
but in order to be recognized as a senior, uh, you have to be 55 and, and above. So if you're brave enough to share with us that you are 55 and above, just kindly lift your hand. Okay, do we, do we have any folk in the chapel? Do we have any worshipers in the chapel? So open the double doors for me, please. And open the double doors in the chapel, please. Both doors in the chapel, please. Okay, those of you in the chapel, 55 and over, lean out to the center aisle so I can see you. <laughs> Wave your hand. There you go. All right. Thank you. So understand this. When you're 55 and above, every day is a good day. Can I get a witness? Yes, Lord. Every day is a good day. This is something very special, and uh, we're, we're grateful for the uh, Christian Education Ministry for for. Uh, working with our seniors in ministry and the leadership and putting together this very special day. And I will tell you, the uh, attendance today is outstanding. We have the down floor uh, packed out and according to our social distancing to some degree and upstairs in the balcony and worshipers in the chapel and also our, our streaming community. So, man, what a, what a great day for worship. Uh, let me, I got to pull up this one announcement. Sylvia gave me one announcement to share. Uh, we have our 5K uh, uh, walk uh, coming up September the 18th. It's going to be at the uh, Occoquan Regional Park in Lorton. If you have not registered for that event, uh, we will have a representative available in the North X immediately after service. Uh, for us to register to participate in our 5K uh, annual walk. Uh, this is the third one, and it's under the leadership of the small groups ministry. So if you want to come out and get a little exercise, fellowship, uh, please uh, register today. If you have not, uh, you can today, and I'm sure you can go online and get that taken care of. And I think that's about all that I have for you today. Again, Thank you all, and for those of us who are seniors, we're rolling. <laughs> all right. Thank you. God bless you. At this time, we will continue our worship through the ministry of giving. For those of you with us for the first time here at First Mount Zion, we pass two offering baskets. The first is for... Uh, your benevolence offerings, and the second is tithe and offerings to the church. For those of you who are with us in our cyber community, you may access the giving link at any time on the website. Feel free to give today, anytime throughout the week, or anytime when you are so led to support this ministry. If you need assistance, you may also reach out to the church on 703-670-0184. You're also welcome to mail your gifts here to the church. Our address is First Mount Zion Baptist Church, 16622 Dumfries Road, Dumfries, Virginia, 22025. And if all else fails, you're welcome to reach out to your zone leaders. They'd be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Usher, please come. Jacqueline Foy, serving zone E1. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God and our Father, we are so grateful for this time set aside in worship service to give back a portion of that which you have given us. We pray, dear God, that these tithes, gifts, and offerings will be used for the uplifting and building of your community. We pray this prayer, Lord, in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ,
pressed down, shaken together, and running over, we give back to the Lord a portion of that which the Lord has blessed us with. Please join us for the doxology. recalled that over two decades ago, this very month, this very day, that our nation was changed. Perhaps we had become very comfortable with who we are and not recognize that we live in a troubled world. And our whole life here in this country was disturbed. But we also recognize that we are great people of great resolve. When we put aside our differences and come together for the greater good. We probably have some young people who they weren't even born and probably don't know what took place and it is always good for us to recall and to remember so that we never forget those who were going to work one day and they never returned home to their families. And their families since that very day, even today, are troubled and disturbed. And we pray not only for this nation, we pray for the men and women around the globe who helped to protect our freedom. And on this day, we remember. On September 11th, 2001, the course of American history was suddenly changed. We remember the chaos and the confusion, the destruction and the heartbreak, the shock of 3,000 lives lost in a single day. But we also remember the great resolve of everyday people, the acts of heroism that brought us together, the men and women who stood in the gap, somehow still fighting, giving every ounce of strength to help others. Decades have passed since that historic day. And in that time, we have learned that despite all the suffering and loss, our God remains faithful. Even when smoke and debris obscure our paths, His unfailing love will carry us through. As we remember those who were lost, let us honor their memory with our lives giving our own strength to help the hurting, making sacrifices for those around us, and sharing the faith which brings eternal hope and peace. This is our promise and our prayer for 9-11.
Please stand and join me for a moment of prayer. Our Father, we are indeed grateful unto you, and we thank you for this grateful nation that we live in, this country. No, it is not perfect by no stretch of the imagination. But we are the ones whom you have called to populate this great land. And our history shows and shares with us that there have been moments of great suffering. And certainly September 2011 was a time of great suffering for this nation. Some of the hurt still remains. Some of the hurt even for this church family who lost church members on that very day. So yes, we join those who continue to grieve and mourn. But we also join and celebrate those who gave themselves and sacrificed to help save others as well. So today we remember, and we remember that through tragedy you were present then, and you are present today, and indeed that you are our source of strength. So we continue to rely upon you. We pray for the families who lost loved ones that you may continue to bring healing to their souls. And that you would remind them that you would never leave them nor forsake them. And may we all learn from our history that we are to trust in you and do our very best to be our brother's keeper. Glory and honor we give to you, dear God, as you continue to strengthen the people of the United States of America. In your holy name I pray. Amen. And as we remember 9-11, We call out the names of the two we lost who would be amongst us celebrating today for seniors' appreciation. So we call out the name of Sister Fields, and we call out the name of Sister White and their memory. At this time, I would like to share with you a little uh, brief bio or on the history um, of the seniors' ministry here at First Mount Zion, and Pastor earlier asked those who were brave enough to just sort of wave their hand. So I'm going to ask in a follow-up, if you are part of the seniors' ministry, as I read this brief history, if you are able, would you please stand? Those who have participated and shared in seniors' ministry, who've been with us for fellowship, uh, those who are here, God bless you. Amen, amen. Amen. The First Mount Zion Seniors Ministry has existed since the early 2000s under the leadership of the Christian Education Department and currently serves members and non-members age 55 and more mature. <laughs> Prior to COVID, the Seniors Ministry met twice a month the first and the third Wednesday of each month from 12.30 to 2.30. That was a time of fellowship where we shared in lunch and activity as well as had guest speakers. Currently, the Seniors Ministry meets the third Wednesday of each month at 1 p.m. via Zoom. So for those of you who've not been able to join us, we certainly welcome you to join in on the third Wednesday uh, of the month at 1 p.m. The ministry has grown 
exponentially over the last 17 years from hosting a dozen members in the senior activity room on the first floor to now averaging 140 attendings in the gym during monthly fellowships. With 188 participants on the roll, the seniors ministry continues to grow. The seniors engage in various activities uh, during their meeting time to include Bible study led by the First Mount Zion Associate Ministers and special presentations hosted by outside organizations such as the Prince William County Police Department, AARP, AFLAC, Feed My Starving Children, and the George Mason University Fall Prevention Program, just to name a few. Past senior ministry outings and activities and service projects have included traveling to Sight and Sound in Lancaster, Pennsylvania for biblical plays, touring the White House during the Obama administration, visiting the African American Museum, taking boat rides, sponsoring the Mary Elizabeth baby shower, packing hygiene bags for the winter drop-in shelter, playing games such as Christian bingo, Bible trivia, and family feud, and showcasing the gifts and talents of its participants during the first ever Seniors Ministry Showcase held in February of 2020, and you'll get a little taste from that a little bit later. Additionally, the Seniors Ministry has birthed a sister organization called All About the Ladies, led by our former senior ministry leader, Sister Mary Melton, and a group called the Silver Steppers. Over the years, the seniors ministry has, been, has had many capable senior ministry directors, and currently it is under the director leadership of Sister Shirley Hardy and Mrs. Pauline Hunter, as the leaders. They are a dynamic duo leading the ministry, and on behalf of them, we invite all of you who are 55 and more mature to join us in any of our future activities. To God be the glory. Thank you all so much for um, how you have blessed the seniors ministry with your gifts. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. At this time, we will have Pastor Torian come forth and... Well, where, oh, there you are. See, he pulled a switcheroo on me. Okay, thank you. I'm, do, I'm doing my introduction from here so that we may be able to prepare ourselves for the next presentation. Uh, the First Mount Zion Senior Steppers made their debut in February 2020 at the Seniors Ministries First Showcase Program which featured poetic readings, drama, and music, all performed by our seniors. The Steppers performed late in February of 2020 for Black History Month at FMZ's morning worship service. The senior Steppers initially began with eight members and have grown to 18 members, ranging in age from 57 to 81. Get in that groove on. They will be performing today to the song, God's Grace, by Reverend Luther Barnes. Soloists for today's presentations are Joanne Earl, Marie Brown, and Nostalgia Little Killer Wright. The senior steppers would like to thank God for his grace and mercy in allowing them to perform the leadership and CED ministry for their support and encouragement. And a special thanks, and a special thanks to 16-year-old Destiny Jones for choreographing their dance and working with them with tremendous patience on the job. <laughs> to First Mount Zion and guests, it's my great pleasure to present to you the First Mount Zion Baptist Church Silver Steppers. Can anybody join me in saying God is good? Can anybody join me in saying that Jesus saved my soul? All these years. 
just a closer walk with thee. Just one 
lunchtime. And I know y'all ready to eat. So I'm not going to hold you long. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to apologize to Reverend Holly right now before because I'm, I'm about to do something that I didn't get a chance to talk to her about. Uh, we're recognizing our seniors today. But, uh, you know, as seniors, we're not going to be around always. And there's a generation of people that we need to focus on as well, our young people. And as I tell you, we have not uh, been able to hire a new youth minister yet. So I got a little experience in that. So until we hire someone, I'm going to serve as the interim youth minister. And I want to invite all of the associates who are interested, who want to join me in serving our young people to do so. Our first meeting is going to be September the 24th. That's a Saturday morning. So all of our junior high school and high school students who are here, you have two weeks to organize your calendar. And I want the parents to know that we have not forgotten. And I don't want you all to give up on us because we have not forgotten. And so until we meet that obligation of hiring someone, and I know that responsibility falls on my shoulder, I assume that responsibility. And we will work to make it happen. Now, our focus for the remainder of the day is to focus on our seniors. I have been here for 27 years. I came here when I was 37 years of age. And I've had members to tell me at that door, we have seen you grow. And I'm glad that you have seen me grow because a lot of us have grown together. You selected for your scripture reading Philippians chapter 3, chapter 1, verses th verse 3. I thank God upon every remembrance of you. And I want to add a couple other verses. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So very briefly, we thank God for every remembrance of every senior who have walked through these doors called First Mount Zion. Many of us have been here long enough to recall that there are those who have gone on to glory, who helped to bring this ministry to where it is now. And we remember and we celebrate them. And in this present day, we remember and we celebrate each of you for your unwavering commitment to the ministry of Jesus Christ and your unwavering commitment and belief in First Mount Zion Baptist Church. We would not be here in this place at this time without the devotion and the dedication of the seniors who are a part of this ministry over the years. So we remember you and we thank God for you and we pray for you, always lifting you up in prayer and making requests on your behalf, requesting that God would give you his continual joy, that God would give you his continual peace, that God will continue to give you his protection, his faithfulness, and that you would be encouraged to have courage throughout whatever the situations may be in your life and that you have the determination that no matter what comes up and no matter what confronts you, 
you know that with God, you do not walk alone because he has promised to never leave us nor to forsake us and that he will be with us always. So we lift you up in prayer and making those requests for you with joy, with joy in our heart, not remorsefully, but with joy and with great anticipation that, 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 so that whatever you stand in the need of, we pray that God will meet that need in your life according to his riches and glory. Because you are part of this great fellowship, and as we pray for you, it is our great desire and hope that you would continue that great fellowship that you have. It was interesting that Dr. Holly mentioned when we started this church, we put up the senior center, center down on the first level. And we really thought that that would do the job for a while. But somehow you all got word out that seniors were meeting and they start meeting and start meeting and start meeting and start meeting. And then the space became too small. And then you shifted over to the grain. And uh, did you say 108? How many members? 188 seniors meet on a regular basis, have met on a regular basis, and the numbers fluctuate here and there. But pre-COVID-19, that ministry, as a matter of fact, uh, we, we were struggling just to make sure we got everyone in that space itself. And Lord knows if you're willing to come back, we'll, we'll see what we need to do. But you are, you are a tremendous part of the fabric of this ministry. Your dedication, your devotion, your, commit, your commitment, your, not only your commitment in Christ, but your belief and your support of this ministry. And make no mistake about it, this church would not be where it is today if we did not have members like you all who worked hard over the years, who continue to work hard, and who continue to support this ministry, and we are grateful to God for you. So I say to you on this day, he who has begun a good work in you, let me tell you, it is not over with. You know, there are times when people serve in ministry and then they just stop. You can't stop as long as you have life in your body. You may not be able to do the things that you used to do, but how many of you all have one of these things? Y'all got one of these? As long as you have one of these as a senior, even if you are in your home, you can, you can, what did, my, my mother said, tweet, tweet, tweaky. <laughs> you can, you can tweet someone, you can call someone. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call a senior member now, see if she'll answer. need to answer that phone later. <laughs> um, call, hey, could somebody call a senior? Well, y'all sitting there, call, somebody call a senior. Go ahead, answer, please. You answer? Oh, this is so messed up. You know, huh? Right? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm just, I'm doing extremely well. You're doing extremely well? Yes, I am. Well, lovely. We're so delighted to have you in worship today. God bless you. Thank you. See, just pick up the phone and call to see you, or email a friend, or text a friend. You, listen, God, is, God has begun a great work in you. The work is not over with. He is not finished with you. You know, you, you, sometimes what we do, we operate as though we have limitations. Sure, there are some things that we may not be able to do, but let's not focus on the things that we are not able to do. Let's focus on the things that we can do and, that, and the resources that God has given to us to do the things that we can do because you still have voice. You still have influence. I'm getting a phone call now from a senior. 
I, yep, I just I got a phone call from him, so you right there. Uh, you, listen, and, and, and he's, not, he's not in this building. He's at home. Uh, let me, I better go ahead and answer this phone call. Oh, he's just hung up. But understand this. You know, sometimes we focus on, think about this. We think about what we cannot do, opposed to what we can do. You know, and what we, what, listen, we have seniors who range from the age of 55 to 81. That tells me that we have seniors uh, who are at the age of 80 and 81 who are still involved in ministry. And they're not looking at what they cannot do. They're looking at what they can do because they recognize that they can be a witness for the kingdom of God. Man, they just blowing up my phone right now. So I say to you, we celebrate today. And let me say, tell you what we celebrate. Not only do we celebrate and honor what has happened in the past, but we celebrate what God is going to continue to do. He is not finished with us. He has begun a good work. Let that good work continue in your life where you continue to give God the glory and honor. You continue to come out in fellowship. Trust me in this. When you come to this place, even today, we will do our very best to ensure to you that you are in a safe environment where you can worship God and fellowship together. Don't give up. And what I need, what I need for you to hear from me is this. God has begun and God is continuing to do a great work in your life. Celebrate that. That is what we're celebrating. We're celebrating the fact that God has begun and God is continuing to do a great work in your life. And it's not complete. The work is not complete. You still have a mighty witness to share. He has begun and he's continuing to do a great work in your life. And we say thank you. We praise God for you. We thank God for your devotion. We thank God for your commitment. We thank God for your witness. We thank God for your determination. We thank God for how you face the adversity that comes up in your life, but yet you continue to press on to give God the glory and the honor, and you continue to represent this glorious congregation that God has given, given to us here, First Mount Zion Baptist Church. To every senior, we say thank you, we celebrate you, we appreciate you, and we give God all the glory for how he has collectively used your gifts and talents to grow and to expand the ministry, the ministry of Christ under this particular umbrella, God bless you. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Please let us stand for the invitation. For those in our cyberspace, I want to extend the invitation to Christian discipleship and church membership. If it's your desire to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray this prayer with me. Dear God, I know that I was born into this world a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I ask forgiveness of my sins, and I ask Christ to come into my heart to be Lord of my life. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. For those in our cyberspace, if you desire church membership with First Mount Zion, please give us a call at area code 703-670-0184. Those in our worship space in this sanctuary and in the chapel, if there's one who would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I invite you to come. If there's one who would like to unite in church membership, I invite you to come. As the choir sings, the invitation to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and the invitation to unite in church membership, both are extended at this time, and I invite you to come.
Lee King III, please come forward to receive the right hand of fellowship. Donald was baptized this morning, and please bring your mom with you. First Mount Zion. God bless you. Thank you. you. Just stay right there. We got some folks who are going to come shake your hand, okay? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. We have a couple of logistical things we need to do. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Holly to stand here. We're going to give the benediction, and then I'm going to get and do the blessing, and then I'm going to get some instructions for those who want to go downstairs to the gym for a time of fellowship and repast, uh, not re reception. Okay, so benediction. Blessing, benediction, then turn it back over to me. All right, please put the camera on Dr. Holly. I'm going to step to the side. All right, here we go. Right here, yeah. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day and, God, for what we have felt. God, we thank you for how you have allowed your presence to just rest in this space. And, oh, God, most importantly, we thank you for how you have kept our seniors. God, we thank you for allowing them to press their way out here today so that we might have a moment to just simply give them their flowers while we can. So God, now as we prepare to leave from this service but never from your presence, God, I pray a blessing over the food downstairs that we are about to receive, that it would be nourishment to our bodies, that we might be strengthened to continue to do the work the way that you have called us to do it in accordance with your will. And now unto him, the one who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless in the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the all-wise God be glory, honor, dominion, and power, now, henceforth, and forever. Amen.